The guy with questionable life choices who dumps his entire free time into longboarding so that every second kid competes against me on who's edgier. Them shouting, do a kickflip or my choice of hair color. Fast forward, this is where you can see me today. <laughs> My first destination brought me to Paris, where a shady friend used his shaky camera to film my shaky skating. I would have filmed it myself, but some Parisian pickpocketers decided that I don't need a film anyways. Starting to longboard is a skill and takes time to develop. And even if six months sounds like a lot, you won't be tiddly tatly towing on your board confidently. Look at me, I'm as inconsistent as it can get. Pro tip! If you have one of these days where you and your homies feel crazy, it might be a good idea to implement new ideas to your moves, such as some good old fashioned helicopter rounds. Besides stepping from right to left or left to right, whatever you prefer, you can get really crazy and throw in some hand tricks between your lines. And this was also probably the last time you will ever see me doing hand tricks again, because these fancy fingers are built for different things, if you know what I mean. German guy in his natural habitat drinking, <laughs> strangely drinking, not beer, but the strange things called water. Nice as fuck, man! If you ever think this is smooth for six months, the chances of you dropping your board behind you to invite your cameraman for a rendezvous in a hospital bed are more than <clears throat> likely. Before we continue to hear me shit talking for another minute straight, this is the last line of what I have done in Paris, so just relax and enjoy it. Eight months in the south coast of France allowed me to ride the ways, but instead I decided to ride the pavement in total darkness, which is not recommended if you just started, or at least this is just another shitty excuse for keeping the beginner tag. Besides attaching my camera on my board and always feeling like it won't survive the stupidity of an idea, this angle drops my jaw to God's nowhere. You have to agree. I can't be the only one thinking this. year I started learning new tricks uh, <clears throat> but of course my board didn't really went up liking that at least I got more consistent with my tricks somewhat hey don't look at me so judgy This is actually the start where I got more serious into recording my progress, which is why from now on quality content follows.
feel like you haven't showered it? Do you kicklip to the annoying longboarder next door yet? Do you feel like you want to join the toxic community of skateboarders who feel superior by saying that? Well, no longer. This is your chance to shout at your screen and write hateful comments, now or never. showing so much naked skin. Normally I'm not like that, I promise you. Okay, pinky promise, this is the last time. But hey, I stole a 360 camera this day and it looks better than all my footage combined. Aren't you convinced that I need more money in my pockets to buy a better camera? I sure as hell am. What is that? High heels on a longboard? I think you should try it out yourself and tell me if you can do it actually. If you ever feel like there's a place where you always feel at home, Paris is the way. Who needs croissants and the Eiffel Tower if you have escape friends anyway? <laughs> video almost looks like a shady travel vlog mask behind what's initially planned. So well, it's Barcelona time, yay!
Uh, this video took me four days to fucking edit, so I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!